Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Well, hello. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Nice to have you here in class. It's a pleasure seeing you all here being punctual as always. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Jessica, Carolina, Tatiana, Mayensi, and Tammy. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, Thank Tammy. You. All right. Okay, we will begin. Hi. Ah, okay. All right. Great. Yes, you did, Jessica. Yes, you did. That is correct. Let me see. Um, let me change this real quick. I'll be, we will start here in a, about a minute or two, exactly at one o'clock. Hi, Carolina. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today? Very well. Excellent. You're ready for the class. Always. Is working? Is you working? Um, no. Uh, are you working, Carolina? Are yeah. you working? Are you working? Ah, okay. <laughs> Just because... Carolina, Carolina, <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, what time is it, right? Uh, it's one o'clock. Ah, very good. Excellent. So it's time to begin, right? It's time to begin. Great. Okay. Now, what is today's date? What is today's date? Ricardo? Today is Thursday. Thursday, I got um, 12, 12, 2021. Okay, very good, very good. Jessica, what is today's date, Jessica? Today is? Thursday, August 12, 2021. All right, all right, very good, very good. Carolina? Today is Thursday, August 12, 2021. Okay. Thursday. Thursday. Very good. Tell me, what is today's date? What is today's date? Thursday? No me acuerdo el 12 en inglés. Okay. 12. Right. What today day is Thursday 12 August. Ah, no. August. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Yes. August 12, 2021. Very good. Excellent, Tammy. Excellent. I think. Yes, yes you're good. You did it great. Awesome. Yes. Tatiana, what is today's date? Thursday, August 12, 2021. Yes, very good, excellent, good job, good job. Okay, as we see it here on the screen, let me see, let me call on, um, Carolina, did you give me the date already? Ya me lo dio usted? Yes? Yes, yes right. Yes. All right, let me see. Mayensi, what is today's date? Okay, let me see. Can you repeat it again, please? Can you repeat it? ¿Lo puede repetir, por favor? Otra vez. Yes. Thursday, y Thursday, Thursday, August, this is only time you want. Okay. Today is Thursday, Mayensi. Thursday, August. 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 12. 
West Sunny Sullivan. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Hello, Adriana. Okay, maybe she's connecting barely. All right, let's continue. Now, we have here the topic. And can you give me the topic, please? Um, well, Jessica, ya que tiene el micrófono activado. What is the topic? In, intonation, present, continuous, W, H, questions. Very good, excellent, excellent. All right, so that is the topic. Hello, Danubia. Welcome. I see you there. Hello, teacher. All right. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for joining. Okay, let me see. Mm, this is the topic for today. Intonation, present, continuous with WH questions. A WH question. That is basically almost the end of... Um, the section five almost right cumpliríamos casi 99% hoy in finishing it then monday and tuesday we can finish and ask any questions that may uh, may arise okay la cámara me suena porque dice que mhm okay adriana bueno well, uh, todos todos pueden adriana let me see Can you hear me? Pero si me escucha, Adriana. Déjame ver aquí qué está pasando con Adriana. Okay, Adriana, can you can you change it now? Can you turn your camera on? Okay, let's continue. All right, we have here um, intonation. That's, that is going to be our first topic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you just a small video. And let me see. With intonation. And then we're going to do a small practice. Let me share sound. Ready? Can you see the screen? Yes? All right. Yes. All right, great. Just remember there's a small rule. Hay una pequeña regla. Eh, cuando es rising y cuando es falling. Rising means en su vida. Ah, there you are, Adriana. All right. Hi, teacher. All You're right. Welcome. 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 So we have rising action. Rising significa en su vida, right? And then falling significa embajada, la intonación. Basically, we're talking about sound, all right? The way we speak at the end of a sentence, the way it is sound, la intonación, intonation. No, so let's let's uh, hear the video and watch it real quick. It's only, uh, I think, one minute, I believe. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? 
Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules for yes and no questions. Remember that for yes and no questions. So, aquí estamos hablando uh, short answers, right? Are you working? Yes, I am. Are you eating pizza? Yes, I am. Are they working? Yes, they are. We're talking about questions that have a short response. Normally, we start with the verb to be. There will be a rising intonation. Rising intonation. Okay. So, aquí la entonación sube. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a <clears throat> falling intonation. Okay, when we talk about WH, estamos hablando like what, who, when, what, where, right? WH question. Lo vamos a practicar también, so don't worry. Okay, cuando usamos WH questions, what are you doing? What are you doing? La entonación al final baja. Okay? Versus the other part. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to, let me see. One thing is to just hear it and watch it, and another thing is practicing it. I'm going to share with you. <clears throat> si tomaron nota, ya saben cuando es intonation, when you when it's falling and when it's rising, right? Los que no tomaron nota, quizás se van a complicar un poquito cuando les ponga las preguntas. Pero los que tomaron nota, fácil, van a hacer esta actividad. Let me see. All right. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and five, right? I want you to look at these questions, and I want you to tell me if it's rising or falling, okay? So if it's rising, rising, or falling. So, I'm going to see if it's rising, para arriba, or si it's falling, para abajo, right? Falling or rising. If you wrote the concept, cuando yo hice la pausa en los videos, hicieron las notas, esto se le va a hacer fácil. Right? Let's look at them. <clears throat> las vamos a decir. Right? Are you watching a movie? Where are you? Reading. Falling. Rising. Rising. Okay, so what is number one? Are you watching? Are you watching a movie? Rising. Rising intonation. Rising. Rising. All right, very good. It is rising, right? Number one is rising. Very good. Excellent. Number two, where are you? Where are you? Falling. 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 All right, very good. Now, the next three, las últimas <clears throat> tres, tres, cuatro y cinco, la van a hacer ustedes solos. Three, four, and five. Y me lo, me lo manda aquí a mí, personalmente. Three, four, and five. No más quiero la respuesta. Is it rising or falling? Así puedo distinguir quién, quién comprendió o tomó notas y quién no. 
Let me see. You have um, two minutes. Al personal, se lo vamos a compartir yes. al grupo, teacher. No, al personal. Personal. Okay. Personal, to me. Let me see. How many participants? Hay 13 de ustedes. Right? 13 of you. So, déjeme ver, tomar captura aquí de todas las personas que están en clase. Y así verificar quién lo manda y quién no. All right. Tayeni, Mayensi, Nidia, Yancy, Cristian, Adriana, Carolina, Jessica, Tammy, Ricardo, Tatiana, en Danubia, en Raquel. So, espero 13 aquí. And all you have to do is tell me. Okay, very good. Right. One minute. Un minuto. One minute left. All right. Okay. I just received. Acabo de recibir un mensaje administrativo. Okay. Hoy es jueves. Today is Thursday, right? And by Monday, by Monday, ya todo tiene que estar en orden. Right? So, prácticamente para hoy, espero que todos y todas que siempre están en clase aquí, no puedo hablar por los demás que no están en clase, pero si ven este video, eh, favor terminar lo que son las tareas. Ok. No quiero que después lamenten si quedan afuera. Right? Lo voy a lamentar yo. Pero ya sería muy tarde ya para el último día de clases en que yo les pueda ayudar. All right, so remember that, right? Mm, thank you, Tammy. Okay, le agradezco por cumplir el requerimiento. All right, felicidades. Ya Gracias a usted y All también right. a Ricardo, porque Ricardo también me bancó en mucho. All right, no problem. All right. No problem. All right, so thank you. Ambos, for... ambos deberían de ser. No, es que el teacher es de los, de los teacheres que yo he tenido en básica y en básica. So, es buenísimo. Le he entendido y a otros teachers mm -mm, me All cuesta right. mucho. Ok, Tammy, muchas gracias por ese comentario. Por dos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. All right. So, I hope everyone is finished, right? Y siempre es un gusto tenerlos aquí en clase y es un placer estar con ustedes, right? Now, I hope you are finished. Todos aquí que están presentes, espero que hayan terminado y así siguen el, el espacio para que continúen con la beca para el siguiente módulo. Ok. So, eso es algo que me acaba de mandar la administración y lo estoy compartiendo con ustedes para eh, darles un informe. Le, le right. una consulta. En el caso de que yo ya había terminé todo, uh -huh. pero hay un ítem específicamente en el número 5 ya para finalizar que no me agarraba la respuesta. 
y que era shopping, por cierto, hasta se me quedó. Uh, so, y no me la aceptaba, entonces este, was... solo esa quedó mala, digamos, porque era por demás. Yo creo que ahí tuvimos todos problemas. Uh, so, remember, you, sí, you, yo también tuve problemas ahí. Uno escucha como una máquina, right? Ca, yes. ca, ca, pla, pla. ¿Una máquina de qué? Escribir. De escribir, ¿ok? En yes. inglés, en inglés, that is called. She's. Ah, pues lo que le iba a preguntar es ah. que si no hay, no hay problema que en ese 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 ítem me quede malo porque nunca me lo agarró. Okay, no problem. It, it remember that 80% is the minimum, el 80% es el mínimo, el requerido, pero si usted sus, tiene que uh, sacar más del 80. So, por ejemplo, si nomás esa falló, hace un promedio de todo. Right? ¿Cuál fue el promedio al final suyo? Mm. 90 y algo, pues como, como solo esa me salió mala. Pero hay una nota final. Una nota final que... parece que le, le sale como de 100. El 100 sí. queda siempre. Yo creo que 100, ah, creo. Sí, si falla la, aunque falle una, como hace un promedio de todo, 9.999, automáticamente lo, lo, sí. lo hace round. Lo, lo mueve al siguiente número, el, la proyección, ¿right? No hay 9.9. 9, right? So, okay. el sistema automáticamente lo, lo, lo sube al, al, al número siguiente, right? Sí. So, it, it values it. So, even if, if you missed it, si fue la única, you will still get 100, a menos que falló otras anteriores, mm -hmm. eh, va a salir en 99 o 9.9. Fue right? la única. But the word is typing. 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 Escribir a... Eh, en máquina. Typing. Typing. Y como al fondo se escuchaba un clic. Ajá. En la caja registradora. Ah, clic, right? So she's typing, right? She's typing. Está escribiendo a máquina. Ok. Now. Let me see. Ok, so you gave me this answer. Number three. Is he working today? It's rising. Rising, yes, rising action. Very good. Number four. Falling. 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 Falling action. Very good. What are the Falling. students reading? Falling. Number five. Are they going to the party? Rising. 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 Very good, right? Se sube la entonación. Very good. WH. On WH questions, we do the um, falling action. Falling. Falling intonation. Okay, that was pretty easy, right? Yo pienso que eso estuvo también en, el, en the activities, in the homework. Right? Le daba dos opciones. Now, let me go to the next one. This part right here. All right. Present continuous with WH questions. I want you to read this. And let's look at it. Eso también está en, en, en los videos. But yes. let's look at this. I, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you the video, okay? And then go to this. The video is unos cuantos minutos, just a few minutes. So you can hear. Let me see. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. So we are. Yes. Okay, aquí estamos. Como pueden ver, we are here. We're going to finish here. Ya nos quedaría nomás la reading. Reading nomás leer. Just to read something, okay? But everything finishes here, right? Knowledge check. Parece que es lo que dijo la compañera ahí, something about the last one, right? Yes. So we can, we can look at it uh, on Monday. But let's look at here. Okay. All right, we did this intonation. Now we're going to do this part. It's just two minutes.
6 a.m. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will. ¿Lo escuchan bien? Yes. All right. Yes. Practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images. Okay, I want you to. Si todavía no saben la estructura, if you still do not know the structure, please write it. Por favor, escríbanla. WH word, verb to be, subject, verb ing, and then complement. ¿Por qué? Porque al final van a crear sus propias y van a hacer un diálogo en grupos. Right? So, si todavía no saben estructurar, eh, favor, tomen nota para que al final no se compliquen. ¿Ok? Because, like, los últimos 5 o 10 minutos de la clase, you are going to do a lot of speaking in pairs or in groups. So, be ready. On the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word. What? Then we have the verb to be. Is. After that, we have the subject. Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is let me see. Go back to that same picture 
And these are the questions, okay? <clears throat> these are the questions. Let's look at this. Remember, ING, WH questions with present continuous, okay? Estamos usando el present continuous. Remember that. Let's look at this. Um, who's sleeping now? Number one. Uh, let's look at the pictures. Who is sleeping? Doria. Okay. Now, la respuesta sería, how would you do it a complete sentence? Victoria is just sleeping. Okay. Alguien más? Victoria is sleeping right now. Okay, very good. You can say right now or now, right? Very good. Sleeping now. Or right now, right? Ahorita mismo o en este momento. Sleeping now. Right? Based on the question, basándonos en la pregunta, así vamos a responder. Right? Victoria is sleeping now. As you can see, subject, Victoria. verb to be, and verb to be, yes, Victoria is the subject, and the verb ing and presente continuo, present continuous. And then we have compliment. a little bit of a compliment, ahorita, right? Now, not, all, not everything lleva compliment, okay? But if you would like to add, you can, right? Some of them do have a compliment, some don't. For example, um, look at Moscow here. Damn it, I'm here. Right, right here? You see it here? Yes. What Andre doing? He's working. No hay compliment, right? Pero está subject, verb to be in contraction, and then verb ing, present continuous, right? Él está trabajando, right? He doesn't have a compliment, but it is complete. Está completo. Let's look at number two. Can you read it, please, um, Jessica? Who, who having breakfast? Mm, who's? Who's having breakfast? Very good. So who's having breakfast here? Um, sería... El tercero. Okay, can you tell me in, in they, English? They are having breakfast. Okay, pero aquí dice who. Ah, sería. ¿Quién? Eh, sería. Fue and Tom. Okay. Y... Sue and Tom. Ah, Sue. Sue so, and Tom having breakfast. Tom. Tom. Uh -huh. Tom. Having breakfast. Mm, okay. ¿Qué le faltó ahí a Jessica? Uh, Ron is having mm. breakfast right uh, now. Mm, okay. Uh, uh, Sue uh, and Tom are, es plural. Right? Uh, Sue and Tom. Sue and, and Tom. Tom. Ah, son dos, right? Two subjects. Son dos. Two person subjects, right? Plural. Yes are having breakfast. Ah, es que en la actividad que aparece me pregunta ¿verdad? si es su o Tom el que está comiendo, entonces yo le ponía los dos y me salía mala, creo que así era. Mm -hmm. Y cuando le puse que solo él, me salió buena. Ok, maybe the question is, pero... Creo, no acuerdo. No, era los dos. A los dos. <laughs> All right. So aquí como está diciendo... lo veía con los tenedores, pues. <laughs> All right. So aquí dice, what are Sue and Tom doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Sue and Tom? They're having breakfast. So la pregunta es, who is having breakfast? ¿Quién mm -hmm. está teniendo Sue el desayuno? And... Sue and Tom are Tom having breakfast. Are having breakfast, right? So as you can see, it's plural. <laughs> Son dos, so we use plural. And then the verb ing present continuous. All right, number three. 
Um, vamos a ver aquí. Adriana. Where are you working? Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. Where's Andre working? Where? ¿Dónde es que está él ubicado? And you working in Moscú? Okay, repeat it, please. And you working in Moscú? Mm -hmm. No me falta algo. Andrew is working. Ah, el verb to be. Eso, eso, eso. eso. Ok, Adriana. Adriana. Ok, dígalo ahora. Andrew is working in Moscú. Very good, excellent. Very good. Rosie. All right. How do you pronounce that? ¿Cómo se pronuncia el lugar? How do you pronounce that? Moscow. Moscow, right? Moscow. Moscow. Very good. Moscow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Moscow, right? Moscow. Moscow. All right. Very good. Y eso es en Russia. <clears throat> Right, in Russia. Let me see Moscow in Russia. Now, look at number four. Number four. Mm, vamos a elegir a Raquel. Hello, Raquel. How are Hello, you? Hello, teacher. Hi. I'm fine. You? Okay, I'm doing great. Nice to see you. Okay. Okay. Can you read number four, please? Okay. Where are you watching television? Okay. Where? 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 Is where? She? Donde? Where? 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 Eh, la respuesta? Yes. Okay. Eh, he is. Okay. Watching. Mm -hmm. Television uh -huh. in Tokyo. Excellent. Good job, Raquel. Perfect. Perfecto. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right, where's Andy? Como ya sabemos el nombre de él, you can just use he, right? He is, o pueden usar el nombre también de nuevo, but he is watching television in Tokyo. Right, in Tokyo. Right, as you can see, we have the subject, verb to be, and then the verb with ing with ing, present continuous, right? Number five. Number five, vamos a llamar a... Nidia, hello, Nidia. Hello. Can you do number five, please? What's Celia wearing? Okay, vamos a buscar a Celia, ¿dónde está? Celia is... Picture. Wearing a red suit. A red suit. Suit. A yes. red suit. Very good. Very good. So Celia is wearing a red suit. Very good. Very good. Yo lo voy a escribir aquí. Celia is. Wearing a red suit. Very good. Subject, verb to be, and then present continuous and complement. Very good. Excellent. All right. So that was number five, right? Number six. Let me see. Christian. What's Marcos wearing? Okay. Marcos, right here. 
Uh, he's wearing a pyjama. 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 Okay. He's wearing. Porque se pega cuando quiero escribir. Where? Come on. Okay. He's wearing. No, es que no sé. Que sepa. Okay. Pajama. Now, very good. Subject, and then I use the contraction here. Si como lo pronunció Christian. All right. And the verb with ing, and then complement. Right. Pajama. Pajama. Así se pronuncia, pero se pronuncia, se escribe con a. Right. Pajama. Pajama. Let me see. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Let me see, Tatiana. Why is Marcos getting up? Okay, why is Marco wearing up? Mm -hmm. Marco, Marco, Marco. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. Right. Aquí es un poquito de, no está ahí escrito en ninguna parte, y es como, you have to think about it, ok? Y la pregunta es, why? ¿Por qué? Getting, no sé qué significa. Ok, getting up es levantándose. Ah, levantándose. Um... So, vamos a usar ese mismo verb with ing, right? Pero por qué? He is, uh, no, ajá, sería, he, he mm -hmm. is getting up mm -hmm. because working. Because he has to work, porque él tiene que trabajar, right? Ajá, uh -huh. he has to work. Very good, right? Now, at the beginning, you use present continuous. Él se está levantando. Para trabajar, or to go to work, right? But you use, lo principal es el present continuous al principio, right? Y al complement lo puede hacer en cualquier tense, right? But the beginning, lo ideal es Marco, Marcos is getting up. Getting up es un verbo fraseado, phrasal verb, que es levantarse. Okay. Marcos está levantando, is getting up. Y dijo, for work, para trabajo, o cómo era Tatiana que lo dijo? Para ir a trabajar. Okay, to go to work. To go to work, para ir a trabajar. Very good. Excellent. So, we have subject, verb to be. Verb present continuous, que sería esto unido, and then the complement. Very good. Puede ser que se está levantando para comer, to eat breakfast, right? He's getting up uh, to play video games. I don't know, right? <laughs> it depends, it depends, right? Num the last one, number eight. Um, Teacher. Yes. Y pudiera ser. Que se está levantando porque ya son las seis de la mañana. Yes, you can say it, right? It's All six right. o'clock a.m. All right, very good. So, can you say it? He's getting up. Marcos getting up. Marcos is getting up. It's six Be o'clock. Because. Porque. Because, yes. Because. Because it's six o'clock a.m. Very good. That is correct. Yeah, you okay. can say it that way too. Okay, I get a, okay. whichever answer is correct. 
right? La percepción propia. But thank you, Marco. Yes. Last one. Um, Danubia. Why are James and Anna having lunch? Okay. James and Anna having lunch because have hungry? Mm, okay. Tienen hambre. Ok, cuando uno dice tienen hambre, no utilizamos el verbo have. Utilizamos el verbo to be. Eso ah. sería are. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Ok. Because so, are hungry. ¿Quiénes? They. They, ajá. Uh -huh. Because. Entonces sería because they're hungry. Ok, but. Present continuous, right? Don't be James and James, Annie. James and Anna have lunch because they are hungry. Okay, very good. Un pequeño detalle. ¿Qué le faltó ahí a Dunivia? ¿Le escucharon? Okay, repeat it again, Danubia. Vamos a ver. James and Anna having lunch because they are hungry. Okay. ¿Qué le hizo falta ahí? Verb to be. Excellent. Very good. El verb to be no está presente en el inicio de la oración. So, ¿Cuál tiene que ser, Tatiana? Si estamos hablando de dos. They are. Ah, uh, very good. El are. El are. So, dígalo de nuevo, Danubia, con el are. James and Anna are having lunch because they are hungry. Excellent. I see. ¿Ya vio? Very good. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Very good. So, ya la escuchamos a ella y, y los otros compañ compañeros o compañeras que participan. Very good. Excellent. So that is the, um, this activity. Let's go to the next one. Esta ya prácticamente aquí es a little bit different. All right, let me see. All right. This should only take you like unos tres minutos. So voy a llamar a cada uno de ustedes. We're going to do this very briefly. I, it says word power, right? He's playing tennis. Here. Vemos a él jugando tennis. Dice play tennis. So lo vamos a hacer en present continuous. Subject, y lo podemos hacer en contraction. He's playing tennis. Right? Next one, Ricardo. Yes, teacher. He's riding a bike. Okay, repeat it. He's riding a bike. Okay, bike, bike. Bike, bike. Excellent. Very good, bike. Very good, excellent. He's riding a bike. Next one here. Um, Nidia. She's running. Okay, very good. She's running, okay. Very good. No compliment. It's okay. No problem. Let me see. Um, Carolina. He's swimming. Excellent. Very good. Next one. Um, Nidia. She's taking a walk. Excellent. Well done, Nidia. Very good. She's taking a walk. Adriana. They are dancing in the house. All right. Very good. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hasta le dio compliment. No problem. Yes. They're, they are dancing in the house. Very good. Ahí en la casita bailando. Okay. Um, ¿Qué está haciendo ella, Tammy? 
she is dry. Mm -hmm. ah. She she's driving. That's all. Very good, Tammy. Very good. Ella está manejando. Very good, Tammy. Excellent. Let me see. Yancy. He is good, good to take movies. Okay. okay. No le escucho, Yancy. He is good. Es una persona o son varios? They. Ah, bye. They are. Mm -hmm. They are good to take movies. Y N G, Yancy. Después del verb to be. El... Ah, vaya. Dele. They are good to take moving. Moving. No, no, no. They are going. 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 The movies. Movies. Okay. Ahora dele usted sola. They are, they are go to movies. Okay, going, going. Going movies. To the movies. Le damos todo completo. To the movies. They are go to movies. Ah, va. They are going, going. They are go, going. To the movies. movies. All right, very good. Very good. Excellent, Nancy. Next one, um, Jessica. He is shopping. All right, very good, very good. He is shopping, right? Está comprando, very good. Tatiana. She is reading. Very good, excellent. Carolina. She is reading, no, she is studying. Studying, studying. I... Repeat, please. Okay. She is studying, studying. Studying. That's all, very good. Ahora dígalo usted sola. She is studying. Uh. <laughs> she is stud studying. No. Okay, studying. 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 All right, dígalo. Studying. Okay. Ahora um, dígalo todo. She is studying. All right, very good, very good, very good. Y una pregunta, como dice, termina en Y, ¿verdad? Siempre se le agregaría ING o se le quita esa I? No, se, le, se, le, se le pone ING. ING. ¿Y se le quita esa I o así se deja y solo se le agrega? No. Se two syllables. Two syllables, right? Entonces se deja esta y se le pone la ING. Yes. Okay. Solo cuando es E es que se quita, ¿verdad? Yes. Así. Studying. You see it? Esa ha sido mi pregunta. Siempre he tenido esta duda. Okay, so no problem. Thank you for asking. Let me see. Okay, next one. Um, Christian. He is watching television. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good, good job. Good job. Now, um, let's go to the next one. And in this activity, you are going to... Let me see. All right? Create. So I'm going to give you like... The rest of the time, justo a tiempo, les dije unos 5 o 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Al inicio de la clase, que iban a practicar, right? Y quedan 7 para las 2. So we're going right on time. Create your own WH question. Ahora van a crear sus propias, right? Using present continuous. For example, ejemplo, what are you doing? Right? Usted va a crear sus propias. 
E, y la respuesta que le tendrían que dar es, I am learning English subject, verb to be, verb with ing, and then complement. Okay. Where are they going? They are going to Pizza Hut. Okay. Where are they going? Vamos a utilizar el mismo verbo en la respuesta. Okay. Igual como el are they, they are. Right? Remember, questions and answers. Questions and answers. So, aquí van a hacer sus propias. Right? Crea, ustedes pueden crear las preguntas que ustedes quieran y las van a hacer a su compañero o compañera. You're going to ask the questions to your classmates. Okay? For example, what are you eating? Yo parece que miré a, a Jessica, right? Que se levantó ahí y parece que es un plato de comida, right? So if I, if I ask Jessica, what are you eating? Ella va a responder, I am eating. What are you eating, Jessica? So. Soup. 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 Gallina. Uh, chicken soup. Chicken soup. All right, very good. I, I eating no, chicken soup. No, no, no. Verb to be. I am eating chicken soup. Uh, soup. Soup. So, soup. 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 All right. Very good, Jessica. Esa es la sopita de gallina, right? Um, let me see. So, así se van a hacer ustedes las preguntas, right? Inventen si quieren, right? Pueden hacer cualquier pregunta, no es necesariamente que, oh, no estoy haciendo nada, right? Ask the question, right? What are you watching? ¿Qué estás mirando? Oh, I'm watching um, um, YouTube. I'm watching Netflix. What are you eating? I'm eating, um, I'm eating spaghetti. Um, what are you wearing? Que lleva puesto, right? What are you wearing? I'm wearing um, a black suit with a red tie, con una corbata roja, right? However, however, just you can. Just, I want you to do is conversate, right? Right. For example, Nidia parece que está afuera, right? Está afuera, right? Right. Puedo preguntarle, Nidia, what are you looking at? Right? Nidia, ¿qué está mirando usted? Right? Y puede decir, oh, I'm looking at the bird. Estoy mirando los pájaros, estoy mirando el avión que está pasando. Right? Whatever. Right? Inventen. Sálganse fuera de, 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 del ámbito. Right? If you want. Se lo dejo a su imaginación. All right? Your imagination. Imagínense que alguien está leyendo un libro. What are you reading? I'm reading Shakespeare. Right? Shakespeare. I'm reading Edgar Allan Poe. Whichever. Ay, ahí ustedes ya piensan que agarraron la, la idea. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and it's going to be for the remaining of the time for five minutes. Speaking only, okay? Traten de no ser escribiendo y todo porque se pierde el habla. Right? So just think. Así como piensan para escribirlo, así quiero piensen en hablarlo. English, please. All right? Remember that in English. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and you are going to practice. I'm going to put you in six. Six. All right. Let me see. You ready? Si alguien no, no le escucha o no está participando, please let me know y yo lo pongo con otro grupo, okay? No hay ningún problema en eso. All right? So this is speaking. One, two, three. Join breakout rooms.
Are you doing? ¿Para dónde me voy? ¿Qué es una vuelta? What are you doing? Where? Sir, please repeat. No, eh, era la pregunta. Question. Porque eh, como que había siempre problema con la señal, que no lo escuchaba muy bien. No sé si es la mía o la suya. Ahorita. Ahorita ya, ya se. No escucha, compañera. No, 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 logra, escucha, no, no, no logra escuchar, no. Entonces usted hágame otra pregunta a mí. Dale. Sería, vamos a ver. Eh. His, uh, his room. Mm, esa no es una pregunta. Perdón, perdón. Why are you? Yo me voy a room. Eso, así es, Mayansi. Very good. Why are you? Why are you studying? Okay, what are you studying? What are, what you... are you studying? Okay, very good. I am studying English. Very good, eso, así es. Perfect, perfecto. No, 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 Sí, quizás sí. Ay, qué rápido. Quiero ver. What are you watching? Watching. ¿Qué es? I am watching um, TV. All right, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome back. And all right, remember, this was just a little practice for you. Espero hayan hablado y practicar la forma de hacer preguntas, how to make questions and how to respond. Okay? Esto nomás fue algo, una pruebecita, because Monday, Monday and Tuesday, vamos a practicar de todo. Ya no vamos a ver temas, vamos a finalizar the reading y vamos a tocar temas puntos que ustedes quizás tuvieron dificultades y ahí lo podemos tocar, ¿no? Right? Si tienen algunos puntos me los pueden saber ya directamente en WhatsApp y ya cuando iniciamos la clase para no yo estar tratando de buscar los temas, right? So, y así ya yo tengo preparado todos los temas en los cuales voy a tocar poquito, poquito, poquito de ustedes que yo sé que siempre eh, están en las conferencias, ¿no? Right? So, mi enfoque está principalmente en que ustedes me digan, teacher, toquemos esto, toquemos con gusto, all right? Entonces, quiero unos cinco minutos de cada tema, porque son varios de ustedes, but I can do a little bit of activities, and this one, esta no se ha terminado, okay? I'm going to put you back next week in groups, in bigger groups, right? pues ya no en uno o dos, sino serían como cuatro o cinco de ustedes, right? So you can be talking as a group, all right so be ready for that haciendo preguntas with present continuous okay talking about colors le voy a poner relojes y usted le pregunta a la persona okay what time is it right y ya van a tener ustedes qué número de reloj van a utilizar all right so así a lot of speaking next week 
We're going to do practice and speaking next week. Nothing of, vamos a hacer gramática, no, no, it's only speaking, ¿ok? Y temas o puntos de, ya sea de uh, las actividades que hicimos o en la plataforma, ¿ok? So, I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. It was a pleasure seeing you again today, ¿ok? Bye bye. Thank everyone. you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you for bye bye. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank you.